going on everyone? Daniel Rodriguez here. It's time to review Fear the Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 1, titled Monster. This is the Season 2 premiere. Welcome everyone. If you're new to the channel, I review many other shows real quick. Of course, I reviewed all of The Walking Dead Season 6, Season 5, as well as Arrow, Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Better Call Saul, much, much more. Man, check out the channel, Gotham, Supergirl. Uh, Eye in the Sky review coming tomorrow. A lot of Supernatural Season 11 reviews that I haven't done are coming as well sometime this week. Uh, Arrow, I mean, so much more stuff, so check out the channel. Trailer reactions of Suicide Squad, man. Uh, movie reviews, TV show reviews, so much more coming up, man. So, anyway, Fear the Walking Dead Season 2. Uh, let me give, give me three minutes to recap the episode, give you the pros, cons, and final score. Uh, I think it was a really good episode real quick, man. I, I, it had great moments in there, and then it had really, really, really good moments. And then it had the slow burn pace, and the, I was bored with a few scenes. Yes, indeed. Yes, I was. But not as bored as I was with season one. Okay? So, give you a little hint there. Anyway, by the time you guys watch this, uh, later tonight or in the morning, I will be uploading my Fear the Walking Dead Season 2 premiere reaction. So if you guys want to check that out, check out the channel when I upload it sometime tonight or tomorrow. So here we go, man. First off, the group, our group, Travis, Madison, uh, Nick, Chris, all of them, they end up escaping the area of the land of where... Um, Strand's house was, man. There's this big fight that's going on. They're fighting a few walkers. They end up going. Nick ends up grabbing the uh, the propeller and kills one of the walkers. I was like, duh, 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 duh. and I love that kill, man. You'll see it in my reaction. It's freaking crazy. They go on the boat, man. Then they head to Abigail. They board it. Uh, and there's just a war. And fi I mean, fire going on everywhere where LA is, man. The military's bombing shit up, so it's pretty crazy. Anyway, they pass by survivors. They don't do anything. That, like, all the survivors are like, hey. And basically, you know, Strand, what, what, what should we do? We keep on moving, basically. You know that Strand voice, we keep on moving. You know, have it, mm, at the end. But uh, it's serious. I was like, wow, that's messed up, man. But it's true. They could be sick. They could be hostile. They could have guns. You don't know what their plans are, man. Hey, we look innocent. Wait till we have you up there. Boom, shoot you up in there. Take the boat, leave, sort of thing. So, anyway... They leave them, man, and San Diego is the plan where they want to go. Curtis and Madison don't really agree on stuff of what they want to do. Uh, Alicia is with someone on the radio, and this guy's name is uh, Jack, and she's basically like, hey, like, are you okay? Or And he's like, what are you doing? You know, who took my only cigarette? <sighs> Little Stone Temple Pilots thing there, man. Uh, where did Mary go? You know, just a bunch of shit going on. You know, some people get the reference, obviously. Either way, that's happening, man. They're talking on the radio. Chris and Daniel are fishing, and they end up catching an eel, man, so there's dinner tonight. There's a funeral for the wife. Of course, uh, Liza gets her funeral. Here comes Chris. You know, just Travis is saying a few words. Chris comes, just throws the body in the water, man. She just slides away. They didn't even wrap the head around, you know, with the thing. She just kind of floats to the bottom of the ocean, feeding the fish, helping the world out, man. Thank you for that, Liza. Thank you for being sacrificed and feeding the fish. So Chris is angry, man. He ends up, uh, so, well, he's angry, man, and he ends up hitting his father. He hits Travis. Uh, Travis tries to go talk to him. Boom! Or no, it was a right hook, actually. Right to the face, dude. Right, right here, man. And Travis was kind of like... And I was like, oh, shit. And like, he tried to grab Chris and everything. He was like, hold on, hold on. And, dude, Chris, I, I didn't recognize Chris whatsoever, dude. He was like, ah, blah, blah, blah. I was like, what happened to you, dude? What happened to the guy with the camcorder? Like, kids grow up so fast, man. Look at that kid. He grew up and now he's all hitting people and everything. That's what people do. God. I felt bad. You, you understand where he's at, though. Strand is not sleeping, man, and he has other motives, or at least that's what Daniel Salazar thinks, man. So anyway, Alicia is still talking to, um, to, to, uh, Jack, and, you know, it's got a little tension there, okay, I like that. Uh, I don't like what Alicia's doing, but I like that tension. Chris, uh, and the pity Travis, uh, and we're not gonna save Jack because Strand is being a dick, and he's being truthful as well. He's being really, like, he's like, we're not gonna save him. What did you tell them? What did you tell them? All right, all right, everyone, here are the rules. First, it's my boat. Second, it's my boat. And the third rule, 
it's my goddamn boat. And like, like he's talking to Travis, and Travis gets up. Oh, what you gonna do, Travis? Huh? And Travis is kind of like, sit back down. Like, mm, that's what's up. So that happens. Chris and Nick end up going for a swim, man, of course. Walker's in the ocean. It's a big old attack going on, man. And there's a boat that's nearby destroyed. Anyway, they're swimming, and Nick goes to this broken ship. He gets one of the yacht logs. Travis ends up saving Nick. They're back on Abigail, and there's a big ship on the way coming. Is it the ship that destroyed that other ship? Or is it a ship with bad people? Or is it with good people? Who is it? I don't know. We'll find out next week. What I think about this episode overall, man, of the season two premiere for Fear of the Walking Dead, first off, man, it's Negan. We all know it's Negan. JK. Uh, first off, I gotta say, I love the ocean feeling. I love the way that they directed it and filmed it being on the ocean. I really enjoyed that. Uh, it's very different. Very, I mean, you're in Georgia most of the time for Walking Dead. You're in Los Angeles and going in the ocean, dude. It's pretty freaking crazy. And where they filmed it, I believe it was like Mexico, part of Mexico they're filming. Lovely area, man. Really love the ocean and how they filmed that there. Uh, I love the walkers and the look. That propeller kill was one of the best things I've ever seen, honestly, dude. I was so happy with that kill. Uh, Strand. I really do enjoy Strand's character. Very, he's like, he's bad and he's good, but yet he's like a very mixed side. You really can't tell what he really is or what his real motives are, but it ain't good for the group. It does have a few intense moments, again, like Chris hitting Travis, and then the funeral scene, and then, I mean, there are multiple scenes where it's just, it really brings your heart pounding, like Strand saying it's my boat and scaring the group and everything. The practical effects and CGI effects worked very well for this episode, man. There was that effects there where, you know, they're standing on the boat and they're looking at Los Angeles getting bombed, and then it was like, fear the walking dead. But... For the most part, you know, the effects were all fine. The walkers looked amazing, dude. Everybody looked pretty chill. All the good stuff there, man. Nothing wrong with there. Travis, dude, Cliff Curtis doing a really good job, man. I understand why people don't like Travis or they don't like Madison. It takes time to get used to a character. But we had season one to get used to them. Still takes time, man. Travis and them, man. Travis wasn't afraid to kill a few walkers. But they're not like, you know, they're not mach machete-wielding like, wow. Yeah, they're not like that yet, so give them time, man. Give them time. They're on a boat, but it's cool to see them on the boat. Uh, again, like I said, the directing and the ending of the episode where they end up getting back on the Abigail, and then there's this other ship coming their way about 25 knots down. So the cons about this episode, I have to say, man, yes, they are a few slow scenes, and I have to say the middle of the episode is the most slowest in the beginning of the episode. Like the first 10 minutes, and then within the 30-minute mark, it's that slow-burning pace scene, man. It has a slow, burning feel to it and a burning taste to the episode. There's not much about uh, Daniel or the daughter, you know, like Daniel Salazar and his daughter, which is like Ophelia or something. We don't get much of them, man. We get a little Daniel. We get like a few scenes with him, but Ophelia only gets like one or two scenes, and that's about it, dude. So we don't get much scenes with them, which I kind of want to see a little bit more of them and you know, show all of them together, show them actually having a little bit more dialogue within that. Uh, again, Alicia and... I have to be honest with this, dude. Alicia pissed me off in season one. And, and girls and guys, you know, whether 17, 18, 19, my age or so, of having, you know, girl or guy would be stupid and being on the, hey, uh, oh, well, well, she didn't give away the exact location or, hey, I'm on the Abigail or she didn't say that, but you know how, t you know, 18, 19 year olds are like, oh, yeah, we could save you. Um, yeah, uh, Hawaii, okay, well, we're this, we're here, we're here, we're that, we're that. And it's kind of like Alicia. Get off the get off the radio, dude. Get off the radio. That guy, the way he's like, Alicia, I'll see you soon. It's kind of like, Ooh. yeah, creepy much, you know. I don't, I don't know what we're getting at there, but uh, I'll see you soon, Alicia. And she's kind of like, all right, <laughs> Alicia, you got Chris and Nick now. I mean, one of them's your brother, right? One of them's our brother. Well, Nick is the brother. Chris is not the brother, so you can technically go there, you know. But Or you got Strand, Alicia. You got Strand, so not too bad. Or you're like older man, you got Daniel. So you got a mixture, Alicia, so do not worry. I'm just saying, it's the apocalypse. You're probably finding people, so repopulate the world. You got to do stuff, so it's a TV show, though. So Overall, man, what did I think about the episode? Gonna give it a B plus, man. Thought it was a really good episode. Had a few great moments in there. Had a really awesome 
parts to it, man. Very cool action in here. Not much action. It had that slow burning pace to it. Yes, it did. But other than that, man, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good premiere, really good episode. Can't wait for next week, man. Uh, does it has it? Was it a better premiere than the first season? Uh, I, I gotta go back and watch the first premiere soon, man. But definitely, I enjoyed it. I like where we're going with season two. I like that, that the subplots that they're creating and everything for each character. So, comment down below. Tell me what you guys thought about *Fear the Walking Dead* season two premiere, and I'll be seeing you next week for more. And hopefully, you guys can check out my reaction. Hit that subscribe button if you want to support the channel or you enjoyed my review. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until next time, bye-bye.